such a happy day for you. The pity Miss Kirkpatrick will miss the wedding. She would have been a charming addition to the bridal party. Well, Cynthia could not be spared from school. Dommage. She's quite ignored, I think, compared to a number of her contemporaries. But uh, I think she's a fantastic novelist. And she, um, just getting familiar with wives and daughters, she just, I think she has a, a great understanding of the way um, humans tick. You don't have large caricatures. You don't have comic character, straight character. Every, everyone is sort of laced with, with a, a, a subtle humour. I think you're probably a very good person, Molly. I'm not very good myself. The sexual element is very strong and it, it runs as an undercurrent to, to, to a lot of the scenes. It's a kind of a, a pulse. Nothing is overt um, and that's why it's kind of sexier in, in a sense. It's, it's um, you know, it's with all the clothes on and I, I find that much more interesting. Uh, there certainly is uh, a, a wickedness in, in Mr. Preston's uh, dalliance. With, with both Mrs. Kirkpatrick and her daughter, Miss Kirkpatrick. You know, and that's a very, very volatile, dangerous one, I think. And it's loaded with the fact that, uh, that he's, uh, there's, there's a history behind Mr. Preston. There's a kind of rakishness. Everyone seems to have quite a strong, preconceived I idea of him. I think he was a great sportsman. He was a great ladies' man. I think he, he quite liked seducing the, the girls while teaching them their snooker shots. You know.